Hey Taurus, welcome to your bonus read with Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a love reading to see what's going on currently with your person. These are their current feelings, their current feelings and situation, and their current intentions towards you. Okay. This is for those who are not in communication with their current their person currently. No communication. You're in separation. Okay. If you're looking for a regular love reading, please refer to the playlist and to my most recent Taurus posted video. Okay. Never force a reading. The messages will be fluid if this is your reading. What I'm going to do, Taurus, is I'm going to pull your post person's cards to show their their current feeling and situation their intentions towards you i'm going to pull their challenges and i'm going to pull your current feelings about the situation okay spirit show me the cards i need to see for taurus please what are the messages that you have for taurus thank you guys for your support i appreciate you guys i love you guys um, if the reading does resonate, please be sure to continue supporting me. It helps this new um, tarot channel grow. Although this is a new tarot channel, I am not new to tarot reading. I have over a decade of tarot reading experience. All right, so those who are new, welcome. Perhaps you would let here if the spirit has messages for you. Okay, so let's get it started. Spirit, please show me Taurus's person's current feelings and situation. Show me Taurus's person's current feeling and situation, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Show me Taurus's person's intentions toward them, please. Okay, intentions. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. And their challenges, please. Wow, this is really intense. And please show me Taurus's current feelings. I'm sorry, please show me Taurus's feelings. These are these are your feelings, Taurus, that I'm pulling for, okay? Your current feelings. Taurus's current feelings, okay? So we're gonna get into this. Your person's current feelings and situation, I got the High Priestess Reverse, I have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. This person is feeling drained, okay? They're trying to push through, but they feel like they're having this ongoing battle and they feel wounded by it. And the battle is the Four of Pentacles. They are holding on to issues and things and people from the past, past issues, okay? Because of this, they hold back emotionally. And they, they have feelings of someone who's emotionally void and unavailable with this Four of Pentacles. Even with this High Priestess Reverse, they're not listening to their intuition. Spirit's trying to tell them something, and they're not listening to it. They're trying to block it off. It's a, it's a feeling of selfishness. They're repressing their feelings, too. That's what they're, that's what's going on with them right now, okay? They're going through so much. They're holding on to the, all the wrong things. The divine is trying to connect with them, and they're trying to repress what the divine is telling them, okay? So their intentions towards you is the emperor, the fool, and the nine of swords. Taurus, please keep in mind, as I say with all my readings, um, this is, um, these readings could be reversed, okay? So cross watchers, you are welcome. <laughs> and the roles may be reversed, flip them as needed, flip them as they resonate, okay? So your person's feelings towards you is the Emperor, the Fool, and the Nine of Swords. This person is holding on to a lot of guilt. Again, focusing on the past. They're up in their head at night with this Nine of Swords. Some of them even suffer from insomnia because they're so deep in their head about unhappiness. They feel burdened with so much. They have so much stress going on, okay? This is the emperor, though. So this person's intentions towards you is to come to you with stability. Someone that you can depend on. Someone to hold you down. 
This person wants a new beginning with the fool. Their intentions is to have a new beginning with you. I'm feeling a lot of Aries energy. You could be connecting with an Aries or have Aries energy in your chart. Um, I'm also feeling Aquarius. Um, it, it could be any sign, okay? Just, just listen. If it resonates with you, it's for you. But yeah, your person wants a new beginning. They're just in their head about it. <coughs> They're so stressed out. But they, their intentions is to come to you and offer you a new beginning and be someone that you can rely on. All right? Um, you're probably wondering why the separation happened, or you may know. But again, this person is holding on to past things. Past issues are hindering their progression in this connection. And again, with this hereford reverse, it's like it's coming off very selfish that they're closed off this way and repressing. They're not listening to their gut. But again, they are trying to push through. They want to come forward and give you a new beginning. Okay? Their challenges at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups. Their challenges is to avoid any conflict. Okay? With you. I get like ego clash and I'm hearing ego clash. There's a lot of ten, t um, tension between you two. And I also get like, it's just petty shit that y'all be arguing about. Um, and someone's guard is up in this connection. So, you know, I feel like it's your person and they feel defensive. It, it can get really crazy between you two really fast. And then I sense that someone like ghosts the connection, that kind of thing. So their challenge is to avoid this energy. Um, their challenge also is the Three of Cups, the reunion. You know, they they need to be able to to um, avoid a conflict in order to allow this reunion to take place with this Three of Cups. They feel that you're their complete happiness. And their challenge is to, to avoid this conflict and embrace this new beginning with you, this reunion. Okay? So, Taurus, your current feelings. Again, if you're just joining me. Please understand that cross watchers are welcome as well, and the roles may be reversed. The reason why I stress that with these current feelings readings is because I've been getting that energy of um, mirroring, whereas your feelings could be just as what I'm telling you your um, person's is. Okay, so take it as it resonates. So your feelings is a, it right now, um, Taurus, is the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. And just as I thought, you feel like this person is unreliable with this king, this Knight of Pentacles reverse. You feel like you can't count on this person, that they, they make a lot of promises to you, but they don't follow through. It's always disappointing you. And then you also feel like this connection is always stagnant. It's at a standstill. It doesn't progress because of this. Page of Wands, I'm getting, you know, you being optimistic, though, and hoping that your person reaches out to you, such as a phone call or something with this Page of Wands. You want your friend, you know, pages are, are messengers, and you're optimistic, and you want this person to come forward to you. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, I get that, you know, um, you feel that this connection has been unstable, and you feel like there was a lot of financial stress involved in this connection, perhaps with your person. And you feel like your person was just pretty much juggling a lot. Like your person has a lot going on and that's why you can't rely on them because they already have too much going on. And it's like, there's always a reason for that. Like they promise something, but they can't follow through. It's unstable because they're always busy. They're always tied up. They always have shit going on. It's back and forth, up and down. That's what you get from them. But regardless of what you want them, you want to hear from them with this page of wands. You want to hear from your person and you're just being optimistic. Part of you still feels optimistic that you're going to hear from them again. You want this in spite of his challenges. You want this. So um, just to clarify, Spirit, what is Taurus's? I'm going to ask what your intentions are towards your person. 
Spirit, what is Taurus's intentions towards that person? What's their intentions? I got the Six of Swords reversed. I got the Knight of Wands reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Again, you feel like they they neglect the connection and you're afraid that of of an ended commitment again. An ending in a commitment. You feel like your person again is unreliable with this Knight of Wands reverse. So you don't have any intentions towards them. There's no intentions. Those are your feelings right now. You feel like your person is not available, so there's no intention. Intentions, you feel like there's too many obstacles in your way and it's unstable. You feel defeated in this connection with the Six of Swords reverse. And you feel like this is the end. But little do you realize, Taurus, this is not the end. This is not the end. This person wants to come forward. Their intentions is to come forward to you and offer you a new beginning with stability. They want to be someone that you can count on. And I'll say that again. Okay? So I'm going to pull some um, Romance Angel cards before I close out this quick read. So these are your, again, these are your person's current feelings. This is what's happening now. They're in their head about you. They're thinking about you really deeply, really hard. They're very unhappy and they feel really stressed because they have a lot going on, but they're like, I really miss my Taurus. They want a new beginning with you, but they want to be somebody that you can count on. And right now, they can't because they're holding on to all these issues, but they're trying to fight through it. They feel really drained, but they still have courage and perseverance. They're trying to push through. They're trying to be resilient. They're consistently trying to make things better for themselves. Okay, but they are blocking their intuition and they're putting their own needs first at this time. They feel like once they're stable, then they can come to you. All right. So Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Taurus to close out this reading. I know you gave up hope with this person and this sort of seems like you're like, no, I can't count on this person. And um, but at the same time, you still want to hear from them. So there's a lot of love you still have this for this person. And I feel like you want to hear from them because you want, you're hoping that things will be different. That's what I'm hearing that, you know, healed. I'm hearing the word healed. You want this person to come to you in healed energy, in healing energy. I'm sorry, I just got corrected. Healing energy. Okay, I'm hearing healing energy now. Okay? So let's pull these cards for you, Taurus. Spirit, show me. This, this person really put you through it, though. It's like you want to love them, but you're afraid that they're going to disappoint you again. Spirit, please show me the cards that I need to see. Playfulness. To recatch a romance, allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. Spirit wants you to be approachable, relaxed, feel good about yourself. Get into your playful energy. Not get out of the stressed energy that you feel. The protective energy of feeling like this person's going to hurt me. What's going to happen? All the stress from this your person that you're not hearing from. Allow yourself to have fun again. Okay? Not so serious all the time. Get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it's there's a need, Spirit is saying, for you and your person to be transparent with each other. Okay? When you reconnect. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. You and your person may have different spiritual beliefs and paths in this connection. Okay? You may be... I get the feeling that you're more traditional. Whereas your person is non-traditional. They like to go against the grain. Okay? And that can cause differences too, because whereas you want the traditional committed relationship, your person is just a little flighty and, you know, they're like free spirit, wants to go against the grain and, you know, just do their own thing. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is a very direct message for some of you if you're having um, issues in your relationship that stems from generation to generation. 
perhaps you saw things that were not acceptable from your mother or your father in their relationships and you applied it to yours and it's like somebody needs to break this generational curse okay so heal that forgive your parents or parent and move forward two more cards please thank you so much spirit reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life there goes your confirmation this person that wants that has intentions from your they want to offer you a new beginning this reconciliation is coming for you taurus forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments i just said that with the card about forgiving your parents okay healing family issues okay as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments also with your person when they come forward to reconciliate there's going to be a need for you to forgive and learn from this okay you guys have to be receptive to uh, you know facing the past issues and then you have to release and heal from it you can't just have this person you can't come together and pretend none of this stuff didn't happen this is something that needs to be discussed. The healing process is requiring you to revisit it. And then once you revisit it, then you can heal from it. You can forgive each other and you can move forward. That's what the divine is trying to tell you. Okay, so this is this is pretty beautiful. You're, right now, your person's intention is to come forward to you with a reconciliation offer. And you want this. In spite of all the challenges, you love this person and you want this reconciliation. So those are the messages that I have for you, Taurus. <laughs> If this reading resonated with you in any way, please let me know by dropping it into the comments or liking, subscribing, anything. I appreciate it again, you guys. I wish you healing, love, and light, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.